Lesson 2 Presenting Your Office and Services Marketing Tools Press Releases Redigere un comunicato stampa implica la consapevolezza dei due fattori fondamentali. I giornalisti cercano valori nel contenuto, particolarmente di novità, e essendo generalmente molto impegnati, non hanno tempo per effettuare troppe ricerche. Per semplificargli il lavoro, dobbiamo quindi fornire informazioni chiare, precise e sintetiche, che possano eventualmente essere integrate a richiesta da altri documenti o contenuti in modo che il giornalista possa elaborare e sviluppare il suo punto di vista in un articolo. Writing a press release. Once again, we have 10 steps. There are guidelines, nothing is set in stone. It's a reminder of the different actions that you should, you could be taking. The other thing I wanted to say just before we start is that in terms of press release I doubt that you will be writing the whole press release yourself but it's very important that you know you understand what the steps are so that when you're dealing with outside professionals you will be able to have a professional dialogue with them and an understanding of what should be done. Also remember, journalists are very busy people and they haven't got time to do research. Therefore, you should really do all the background work yourself or whoever you have appointed to do it for you. First of all, you should really write everything that you want to appear on the press release itself. So don't forget any subjects, just write everything down. The second thing is think about a good headline. The headline should be short and clear and it should really capture the main topic of your press release. As a little tip, I would suggest that you actually write all the press release first, all the content, and once you've done that, you choose your headline. The first sentence should contain the key information about the subject on your press release. You should also take a moment or two to think how you want this first sentence to appear. Probably in terms of writing it should be different from the rest of the text. In terms of font it could be a larger font, it could be italic, it could be bold, whatever but different from the rest of the text. Write different texts for each type of media, whether you're dealing with a newspaper, a magazine or else, it shouldn't be the same text because it's a different audience and it's a different time that we all spend reading a magazine or a newspaper or something else. Observe the cut of time in a strict manner. This means that whether you're dealing with a newspaper or a magazine, weekly or monthly magazine, there is always a cut of time and you better be sure you make it. It could be the day before at 5 or 8 p.m. for a newspaper, it could be a matter of weeks before for the weekly magazine or for the monthly magazine. Whatever it is, make sure you don't miss it. Very important is not to burn the information before the press release comes out. If you are dealing newspaper, magazines, you don't want to start heavily tweeting or sending messages on LinkedIn or Facebook or whatever it is because otherwise the information that is going to come out on the press release will not have the same impact because you've already burnt some of it. Don't forget to call the newsroom before and after the submission for some special contacts. You can also agree on specific elements that you want to use in the press release or 
following the press release. It can be photos, interviews, other sorts of news, whatever it is, call them before and after. Don't forget to create a multimedia press folder. This is very important because it includes captions and photo credits. Captions are about uh, key sentences about a person or a fact and photo credits, uh, uh, it's rather technical but they are normally high resolution photos, they are 300 dpi and of course it gives the name of the photograph that took the picture. You can actually upload them on the web for downloading so that they don't make the submission too heavy. Remember to write your contact details very clearly. In terms of communication, it is very important. The journalists want as much information as they can, but also they need to access the information easily and they don't want to lose time looking for it. Last but not least, you should create a hypertext link which you're going to create on the firm website and on the newsletter sign-up page. This is where the journalist can find the information easily and can contact you and your firm in a fast manner. Good luck! Press release in 10 steps. Most journalists are really busy and don't have time to do much research. Include everything you want to appear in print in the press release, as a large part of it will be used. Think of a good headline, short and clear. It should be an ultra-compact version of the main topic of the press release. It's a good idea to choose it at the end, after having written the content. The first sentence should contain the main information which will be expanded on in the press release. Write with care, using a larger font or bold or italic text. Write a different text for each type of news media you send it to. A newspaper would not use the same words as an illustrated monthly magazine. Observe strict timing, following the cut-off times of the newspapers. The first press releases for monthly magazines will obviously contain less information than the news you can give to web portals. Don't burn the news with tweets or other forms of communication. It should be controlled and coordinated. Call the newsrooms before and after the submissions. For some special contacts, you can agree exclusive elements, photos, interviews and news. Create multimedia press folders which include captions and photo credits, high-res photos at 300 dpi, and upload them to the web for downloading, so that they don't make the submissions heavy. Write the contact details very clearly. If the communication is noteworthy, the journalists will want more information or will want to interview someone from the firm. Create a hypertext link on the firm website and the newsletter sign-up page, where journalists can find further information on the firm. Press release Headline Main topic Font Bold Italic News media Cut-off time Newspaper To burn Newsroom Special contact Exclusive Multimedia press folder Caption Photo credits
Welcome back. It's me again, one more time. We um, talked about getting prepared for the meeting. We talked about how to introduce a meeting, how to sit, how to look at our clients, roles and responsibility. What I would like to talk about now, it's the actual meeting itself and developing the project and discussing it. The third thing really, I think it's about talking clearly and not too fast. Remember that English is a common language, but it's not necessarily our mother tongue. And anybody around the table could be from different nationalities and their English level could be different. Articulate. Do not talk fast and try to express every word clearly so that everybody understands what you're saying. When you explain the project, you need to make sure that you explain it in an orderly manner. And yet again, the preparation you've done, it's 80% of your job. The more clear you are about uh, what are the key issues about the project, uh, what are the things that are most important to you, and obviously for your client in your project, this is what you need to focus on. Don't lie. What I mean by don't lie, it's the fact that uh, in our world it is very difficult to disguise the truth. So if you don't know something, if you're not sure about something, it's much better for you to actually say it or ask a question than lie about something you're not aware of. Different ways of answering if you're not sure about the answer or if you do not know the answer. I've actually written down some of them. The first one could be, I'm afraid I'm not aware about this particular issue, but let me look into it. Or you could say, let me check and I will get back to you ASAP. ASAP, as soon as possible. English people use this all the time. So don't be afraid, ASAP, as soon as possible. It doesn't actually mean tonight, but it means in the shortest possible amount of time. Another one could be, I don't know the answer right now, but I will ask Susanna to get back to you tomorrow. You've been talking about the project. You're not sure whether the other people actually understood what you wanted to say. So rephrase it, reformulate it. Ask the others to reformulate for you. It's very important but it, because it means that you're both on the same length and you're both on the same understanding. If you think that there is there are misunderstanding if you think that people are not exactly on the same wavelength, please draw it, write it, get up, go to the board, make sure that you draw a visual picture, that you show images, that you maybe take materials, fabrics with you. You need to have your client live the dream, but it has to become his dream. That's the most important thing. ASAP, as soon as possible. You will hear this all the time. People say it, people write it. It's like BYO, bring your own, but that's about bringing your own bottle of wine, so it's a different thing. L'addetto dello studio di pubbliche relazioni, che agisce anche come responsabile ufficio stampa, riassume i punti salienti del comunicato appena scritto per i giornalisti e i media, per la presentazione della riqualificazione di un edificio per abitazioni. Despite not being an architect, your words conveyed all the creative effort that had gone into the project. I wanted to emphasize how you have given new life and meaning to a sad building, characterized by the dark color of the metal structures on the facade and the tinted glass, which may have been considered modern and technologically advanced in its time, but is no longer. For architecture periodicals, which closed two months before they hit the newsstands, I planned a more in-depth technical report with product information sheets which I obtained from the suppliers you mentioned. 
To expand on the construction processes, I'm waiting for a short text from the project management company. The newspaper journalists I contacted are interested in interviewing you and the engineer, but they would also like to speak with some tenants to get some feedback on the post-occupancy. I see that you're very active on the social networks. I strongly suggest you don't send out any tweets at all before Thursday. You would ruin my work. I would like to produce some personalized USB flash drives to send to the main journalists with all the documents and photos. I need your logo in vector format. Despite not being an architect, your words conveyed all the creative effort that had gone into the project. I wanted to emphasize how you have given new life and meaning to a sad building, characterized by the dark color of the metal structures on the facade and the tinted glass, which may have been considered modern and technologically advanced in its time, but is no longer. For architecture periodicals, which closed two months before they hit the newsstands, I planned a more in-depth technical report with product information sheets which I obtained from the suppliers you mentioned. To expand on the construction processes, I'm waiting for a short text from the project management company. The newspaper journalists I contacted are interested in interviewing you and the engineer, but they would also like to speak with some tenants to get some feedback on the post-occupancy. I see that you're very active on the social networks. I strongly suggest you don't send out any tweets at all before Thursday. You would ruin my work. I would like to produce some personalized USB flash drives to send to the main journalists with all the documents and photos. I need your logo in vector format. Despite not being an architect, your words conveyed all the creative effort that had gone into the project. I wanted to emphasize how you have given new life and meaning to a sad building, characterized by the dark color of the metal structures on the facade and the tinted glass, which may have been considered modern and technologically advanced in its time, but is no longer. For architecture periodicals, which closed two months before they hit the newsstands, I planned a more in-depth technical report with product information sheets which I obtained from the suppliers you mentioned. To expand on the construction processes, I'm waiting for a short text from the project management company. The newspaper journalists I contacted are interested in interviewing you and the engineer, but they would also like to speak with some tenants to get some feedback on the post-occupancy. I see that you're very active on the social networks. I strongly suggest you don't send out any tweets at all before Thursday. You would ruin my work. I would like to produce some personalized USB flash drives to send to the main journalists with all the documents and photos. I need your logo in vector format. To give new life and meaning. Metal structure. Facade. Tinted glass. Technologically advanced. Product information sheet. Supplier. Tenant. Post occupancy. Vector format. <laughs>